Greetings, my lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be interrupting our five days of gut mist, and I'm going to be tasting this. I just received this in the mail and it was sent to me by lovely Teresa. Teresa, thank you so much for sending this to me. I've wanted to taste this for a long time. This is also not the first time Teresa has sent me a wonderful package. If you miss my Wisconsin tasting, you should definitely check it out. It is super comprehensive and delicious, including beers and meats and cheeses. I will put the link up there and down below and you must check it out because now I really need to visit Wisconsin. <laughs> this is lutefisk and it's traditional food that is eaten in the upper Midwest around the holidays. That is why I am interrupting gut mist to taste this because this is specifically something that's eaten during the holidays. So Lutefisk was brought over by Scandinavian immigrants to the upper Midwest, states including Wisconsin, Minnesota, the Dakotas, Iowa, and it is eaten there during the holidays. And what it is is salted dried cod that has been rehydrated in a lye solution. So lye, L-Y-E, is very caustic substance and is actually used in soap making. You take lye and you add it to a fat, it could be oil or it could be lard, and you mix those together and you actually make soap. So this fish has been treated with lye and it must be rinsed and washed several times to get that substance out of there. This lutefisk is made by the Olsen Company and they've been in business for a very long time. So the Olsen Company is based in Minneapolis and they make the most lutefisk in the world. They actually export some of this to Sweden and Norway. There's a photo here on the back from 1910. And there are three different ways to make it. Old fashioned boiling, traditional baking, you can even microwave it. Today I'm gonna to do the old fashioned boiling technique. This is traditionally served with either a cream sauce or lots of melted butter and boiled potatoes. Teresa actually confesses that she doesn't like lutefisk, but it is traditional and she really wants me to try it. So I'm gonna give that a go. But she also includes something that she really does love and it is this. And this is called lefsa. And lefsa is a type of bread. It's made with potatoes. It looks a lot like a tortilla. And this is served with lots of melted butter again, and sugar, and sometimes cinnamon sugar. So I'm gonna prepare the lutefisk first, and then I'm gonna have the lefsa for dessert. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Love this pot. I found this in a thrift store, one of my favorite thrift store finds. It's a Dansk vintage enamel pot, love it. And we're gonna place the lutefisk in there and boil it for eight to 10 minutes. Well, that's going. I'm gonna take the fish out. Wow, that's a lot of fish. And immediately I smell it and it smells very, very fishy. I'll show you what it looks like up close. Very pale in color. All right, in goes the lutefisk. All right, let's put that in there gently. I'm gonna cover that and simmer that for about eight to 10 minutes until the fish is cooked. All right, be right back. Show ahead has been eight minutes. I'm going to fish my fish out of the boiling water. It does smell a little bit fishy, but it's not entirely unpleasant. It's kind of steamy and moist, kind of like when you walk by the fish department and they're steaming a bunch of lobsters, kind of that kind of humidity, but a little bit of a fishy smell. All right, so here's our fish. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look, it's kind of puffed up. Oh, and it's kind of gelatinous. Oh my gosh. So lutefisk is traditionally served with some boiled potatoes, so I've got some here. A little bit of green. This texture is wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and give our lutefisk a taste. I've got myself a bunch of melted butter. I'm going to pour that over the potatoes and over the fish. Yum. This texture is phenomenal. It's got this really great, bouncy, gelatinous texture. All right, let's try the fish by itself first. Happy holidays, it's the Lucky Malls. Mm. Wow, it's actually got a really light flavor. The fish flavor is actually very, very subtle. But what I find really interesting about this is the texture. It's got the most curious, gelatinous, jello-y texture. It's like jello, but it's hot and fishy. Hmm. <laughs> For whatever reason, I thought this was gonna taste really fishy, but it doesn't, hardly at all, actually. And with the butter, it's actually quite nice. 
I don't mind this at all. This is also served with a cream sauce and I can imagine that it would be delectable that way as well with that creamy sauce, kind of like chowder-esque. With the butter, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. Wow, you don't even have to chew it. It just kind of just melts jelly-like in your mouth. You definitely have to have the butter or the cream sauce to give it some richness because it's pretty bland. It's boiled and slightly fishy, but the texture is marvelous. Let's have a bite with potato. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. I really like it with the potato. The potato gives it some textural oomph. You've got some other substance going on in terms of mouthfeel. It's also soft and crumbly, but it's got a little bit more body and bite than the lutefisk itself. That textural contrast and of course the flavor of the potato as well really rounds out the lutefisk. It makes it more of a meal. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it just makes it tastier as well. It's actually good. I like it. I like lutefisk. I do. Very simple, humble. I like it. So now that we've had the lutefisk, let's taste the lefsa. So here's the lefsa. And from the looks of it, this is probably made in a really large sheet. And then it's cut into these triangles. And this is made with potatoes. Warm them up on my griddle. Just a little bit. So this looks a little bit similar to a tortilla, but it's actually thinner. And it's got more of a kind of rubbery, floppier texture than a tortilla. So it's warming up real quick. So I'm gonna take the left side and I'm going to add some melted butter. I'm gonna use some cinnamon sugar. Teresa says she uses plain sugar. But what doesn't taste better with butter and sugar, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna generously coat that with some sugar, and then we're gonna roll it up. Dee -dee -dee. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fantastic. It's all kind of swirled in there. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. scrumptious, warm, chewy, it has a really delightful texture. So it looks like a tortilla by Gestalt, but tastes nothing like a tortilla. It has a more neutral flavor than a tortilla. I feel like a tortilla has a little slight kind of almost sourdoughy flavor to it. This does not at all. It has a little bit of chew. It's a little bit thinner. It has a more elastic kind of chewier texture. Mm. And it just goes so well with the butter and the cinnamon sugar. Delicious. Mm. I would say this is actually more similar to a French crepe, but this is more sturdy than a crepe. A crepe is a little bit lighter and delicate and really soft and floppy. This is definitely sturdier, but it's kind of thin and absorbs all of that butter and sugar. Wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. So good. It's like cinnamon toast's like Scandinavian cousin. Delicious. So there you have it, a traditional Scandinavian and Scandinavian American holiday meal. Big thanks again, Teresa, for sending this to me. It was absolutely amazing. She packed the lutefisk in ice and had it shipped to me. Incredible. Thank you so much for your dedication and your generosity. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. If you want to see another Scandinavian American treat that I recently had, check out my egg coffee. It uses an egg where you put that into your coffee grounds and you boil it together, but it brews an amazing cup of coffee. Yeah. Check out the links in there down below, you know, wherever. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Be sure to come back here tomorrow for the last day of Gutmas, and I will be tasting some other interesting, curious treats, and it will be Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you guys, and I shall see you tomorrow. Toodaloo, take care, bye! Why does it come out like then?